Hi everybody. Um, we'll talk about the bike here this morning. I blew the head gasket in it. You can see. All right. We were right out. I was going down to the post office yesterday, and the wind was slowing me down. <laughs> it was like it was like the birds were flying by me, you know. And uh, just had no power whatsoever. But it was good on the way back. I, I, I had the wind up my back, and uh, it was sort of like a sail. But what I hit, what I did, like the head gasket. For those who don't know, there's a aluminum gasket between the head. And you see, I don't know if you can see it in there, but you can see the shiny metal, right? In between. This is your head. This is your cylinder, right? And it blew out here and uh, I didn't have the right thickness of material it's made of aluminum I found a, a pie plate um, a, 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 no, a, what, what was it? it was a bottom tray out of an t old toaster oven yeah a tray out of a toast, toaster oven so I took it and I, I drew it out cut the thing out drilled it and I made two of them, and I clamped her down, and I took her for a test drive a little while ago. Worked fine as kind. We got a lot of hills here, and went up the hills no problem. <coughs> um, the thing, that's the thing about these little engines, is that they're so simple, right, that you can do, like, you, you, you blow the hit on... Uh, you know, the, the head gasket in your car. I mean, that's a $2,000 job. The... I was able to jerry-rig a head gasket out of an aluminum tray and repair this thing in just about an hour. And it's back up on the... You know, it's back up and running. Uh, that's... You know, in these times, that's what you need. You need simplicity. Something that you're not going to have to shell out 500 Six hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars to repair, and um, y you know you basically once you knew it was the head gasket, anybody could do this, and you know to make this, all you need is a drill and a pair of a uh, small pair of uh, snips, right? And I had to, uh, I had to grind that out to size, but I mean it, it's real simple to do. But anyway, uh, you know, if you don't have something like this, you should actually consider getting something like that and putting around. I mean, it's a great little rig. Very simple to do. And the gas mileage is incredible. I just ran out of gas. Five-gallon can of gas. And I've got it in, what, the end of November? Yeah. And I've been using that for the chainsaw and for the bike since November. And I use the bike, you know, four or five times a week uh, and uh, you know for going down the post office or the store or whatever um, and the chainsaw well geez there's the chainsaw in the, you know I've got so much stuff cut down we're, we're in the process of starting to take it out now get ready for next year but anyway till the next time